Play, just play. Mm. I didn't say with yourself, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> now you tell me. I know, I know, I know. Okay, very funny guy. I've been known him for a long, long time. I'm always trying to help me, but nobody listens. It takes him so long. I can't go. listen to me. Let's hear for the very funny, adorable. I said to this guy, no, I said, if my comedy doesn't work out, if yours doesn't work out, I'm thinking we could do an act together. That's what he said to me, and I said, yeah, me on top. Here he is, Akut King. Wow, I done broke everything. No. No. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right, she's all right. What's up, y'all? What's up? I just had one of them chicken sandwiches from Popeye. It was a knockout. I had to knock out three people in line just to get it. <laughs> Don't go to KFC in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Because they got hood rats at the register. And they be on their phones. And I said, hey, miss, can you get off your phone? I want some chicken. She's like, look, Shrek. I ain't the one, I ain't the one. <laughs> I, I had to come back at her. I was like, pork, pork, chicken, chicken, pork, pork, chicken head. Give me my chicken. Oh, crazy, crazy. I saw a pretty young lady walking down the street. I wanted to holler at her. So I said, hey, Ma, how you doing? Can I get your number, please? She turned around and says, I don't date the Green Mile. <laughs> I had to hit her back. I hit her back with a diss rap. You know, because I'm black. I had to hit her back. I said, you all that, you can't stop? With the weave in your head like a mop? You must know karate because your face looked chopped. I got her back. I got her back. <laughs> the only women that would date me are women that got bad kids in the projects. <laughs> Easy to, easy, easy, man. easy, man. Them project chicks love me, man. Easy, man. They love me. Those are the only chicks that would date me, man. I'm sorry. Those are the only women that would date me. Right, Moya? You got no project chick? You don't? You must have one. You got some better. I'm, I'm just asking. You got to date them project chicks, man. I know you have. Oh. <laughs> so I went over her house and she brought her kids, all four of them, to the living room and introduced me. He said, This is shit night. If you act up, he's gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> but you know the youngest one is always the baddest one, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And he looked up at me and he says, That ain't no shit night. That's Patrick from SpongeBob. <laughs> a little brat. Called me a starfish. Pinkin' <laughs> like that. <laughs> kids, right? You know, my own kids don't, you know, they don't take me seriously. Oh. My own kids don't. Look, I got 10, I mean, I got, I don't got 10. I have been hitting the project chicks, man. I got 10, boy. I been hitting the project chicks, man. No. I got two 10 year old twins. I don't hit that many projects. But under no circumstance can I wear purple around me. Because they think I'm Barney the Dinosaur. And they want me to sing the I Love You song with different variations. Country, rock, pop, their favorite is trap music. I love you. You love me. We one big happy family. Percocet. <laughs> they love that version. <laughs> the guys, yeah. They love that version. I can't go to 42nd Street Times Square because Germans and Norwegians and Austrians love the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I can't go to 42nd Street. I can't go there. I can't go to the village either. Downtown in the village? 
because gay men walk up to me and say, are you a gay bear? <laughs> I'm like, why do you think I'm a gay bear? What, what makes you think I'm a gay bear? He says, because you look like one. Woo, woo? <laughs> now what? I said, I was just asking. I, I can't get on top of women when we have sex because they won't let me. Because I sweat too much. <laughs> and sweat falls in the eyes and it stings. And in the hood, we got to keep a, a towel in the bed so I can wipe her face like a windshield wiper. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth, Mark. I gotta wipe their faces. I know. Yeah. I used to work for Grubhub, but they fired me because I eat up everybody's fries. Imagine <laughs> me coming to your door. Grubhub, man, open the door. Grubhub, open the door, man. Give me your bad you looking name, you look at me, say, yo, you ate my fries. I'm like, yeah. So, and is there a problem? And you look at me up and down, you be like, no, I said, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your meal. I used to work for Uber, but I hated that job because I drive people to houses that look better than mine. <laughs> I get jealous, you know what I'm saying? I hate that job. You know? Uh oh. I'm not going to do it this time. I can't stand next to doors because people randomly walk up to me and give me their IDs. <laughs> gave me his ID. He said, aren't you the bouncer? I'm like, no, sir, this is a Starbucks. <laughs> I said, can I have my ID back? I said, no, but now I know where you live. <laughs> Don't give your IDs to strangers. <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, vegan. <laughs> <laughs> 